Hello, everyone. Uh, again, today we have with us, um, you know, one of our really efficient optimal EFT practitioners. She's also the director of the Gary Craig Official EFT Training Center in the Dutch language. And she's an MD, it's Dr. Uh, Gabrielle Rutten. I'm going to say, uh, hello, Gabrielle. Are you there? There you are. Hi. 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 Um, okay, our topic today is, 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 is one of the more sophisticated topics having to do with our advanced course, the Optimal EFT course for our members and so on. It has to do with the term association versus dissociation. Now, some people are familiar with what those two terms are, but not everybody is. So could you describe the difference between what's known as dissociation and association? Yes. It's got to do with how your memory works and how you relive things. So association means that you relive a past memory as if it's happening right now, which means you step into the moment, you look through your own eyes and whatever happens, happens there. The reason you need to do that is that only in this way do you activate the whole stress reaction that caused you to have negative emotions in a certain situation. Sure, and if we're, if we're going to be complete and, and really do our job thoroughly and well with a given specific event, a given traumatic memory, for example, we're going to need to really step into it. However, and I'll just use the example of some of our war veterans, to start right off the bat and just dig right in there and get all associated with all that happens, whoa, you can get some really big time yes. ab reactions. So we don't necessarily want to do association to begin with. Would I be correct? It, you are correct in this, insofar we're talking about traumatic events. You will be dissociated uh, on traumatic uh, events. This is how you get through them. It's normal yeah, to yeah. dissociate. And so, which means that when you think back, you'll be thinking back, you know, past tense, you're looking at it, or you're sort of not even, you know, looking at it, just keep it vague and stuff like that. So this natural reaction, you need to honor. And so if you're dissociated on a memory, war veteran or otherwise, you start dissociated. Yeah, well... But the power of EFT is that if you start dissociated, you will get, you know, all this um, charge will become less and less and less. Yeah. And then you can get into the associated state and really get the job done because if, to, to take our war veteran, for example, I know from great experience, if I just started right in, you know, <laughs> let's get into all of this. We want to start off dissociated. It's more like sitting in the movie theater in a movie theater in a seat in the movie theater watching the movie out there it's it's more comfortable to do and yes. so we can we can we can aim at parts of it and specific p pieces of it and one thing and another and start to make it more comfortable take yes. the edge off take the edge off but eventually if we're going to do the job well They've got to get right back in that movie, right at that moment. They've got to hear those screams. They've got to smell those smells. They've got to associate, feel those feelings. And then we can collapse, 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 collapse. It's really easy to just kind of stay on the sidelines somehow. But you're talking about us associate, associate, associate. Yes. And so if you want to work on, uh, I mean, obviously, if there's like big, childhood trauma you start dissociatedly in a dissociative way or whatever the expression is however you need to keep working on that event until you are able to go through it in an associated way so that you can test whether there's still aspects there or whatever else because your your the complete reaction need, needs to be zero peaceful yeah it, it, the way i tend to say it is even the most traumatic of events, if we've done this job well and done it thoroughly, it will be something like when you were five years old, you fell off your bicycle, you skinned your knee. It hurt at the time. But now you look back at it and go, oh, okay. <laughs> it's just one more event that happened in your world. Okay. 
But what, what I would like to point out is that you don't look back at it and remember that, you know, you were five and stuff, but you have to become five, be on this bike and really fall down. So you need to relive the moment. That's association. Okay. But what, yeah, yes. What I'm saying with that example, though, is a little different than, than, than that. It's once you have done a truly traumatic event, not falling off your bicycle at age five, but a truly traumatic event, and you've done it well and thoroughly with association and all of that, your response to it would be similar to what, well, I fell off my bike when I was age five. and then, Exactly. You know, exactly. Okay. Um, and so on. I know sometimes, comment on this if you would, Gabriel, sometimes I'm, I'm dealing with a client and we're working on specific events and we're getting better and better and better at the specific events. And the client will say to me words like, I feel it's more, more distant now. Okay. Well, I hear one of two things and I often will ask the client about this. I'll say distant. Okay. Like you're in the movie theater watching on a movie now, or it's just all blurry or doesn't matter much. And, and like, yeah. And I said, well, that's one of two things. Either you, we really have done something worthwhile collapsing this issue. And yes, it just doesn't seem like much anymore. Or you swept it under the rug. You are still repressing it. You're not associated well enough with it to really get it done. And what I find, I don't know how if you do this or not, but when I ask them, I'll say, do you think you've, really collapsed it or you're dissociating and they tend to know they'll tell me okay and they'll say something they'll say i no, i think i'm dissociating ah yes. big clue big clue big clue yes. comment on that would you yeah so it's my my experience that you know the small stuff the daily stuff that might sort of dissolve you you might not even be able to recall Again, what the you know the situation was, what the quarrel was about, or whatever else. So those you know very unimportant little memories, they just dissolve and this distance and whatever else. However, if it's a traumatic or an important um, uh, past e uh, specific event, the details will not um, disappear. So I would always instruct them to close their eyes take a moment to realize and um, i start asking them questions where are you now because we're, we'll, we'll be talking present tense because now they need to be in the moment i'm you know i'm walking on the street and what happens next i see this man come a man coming towards me and they have to tell in present tense and go through the whole scene again just to check whether they are um, if there are associated in the in the event, nothing happens anymore, and only then can you say, uh, you know, it's all tested and it's done. Be yeah. The reason being is because you want the link between the trigger and the stress response needs to uh, be severed. The link should not work anymore. Yeah, and in this past event, in in one sense, doing association really thoroughly could involve all the senses. I'm thinking of something like, well, it could be a war trauma or a sexual trauma, the smells, the oh, yeah. tastes, the sounds, the, the grunts, the screams, you know, all of that. Absolutely. Are trigger points. Yes, absolutely. And, and you get to those when you're associated. People don't want to associate typically. No, no. And so you need to work dissociatedly if need if need be until it's it's doable because um, and you need reframes for this because whatever happened, it's in the past, it's done, it will never happen again. You somehow got through it, and so however awful the past event is, you're here now looking back at it. That's you know healthy dissociation. However, to really resolve the thing, you need to work on it in an associative. Uh, way and I'd like to point out that even uh, even the most horrific stuff you can resolve because it's in the past. People sometimes make the mistake that they say, "Well, what it this was so awful. Next time it happens, I'll be upset again." Of course, be because next time is not a test for something that you know is behind you. So you can always 
let the past go. You can always resolve past experiences, and that's why you need to test test them and test them in an associative way. Yeah. We're never saying that you know awful stuff that you're in you know immune or not sensitive to to awful stuff. If something awful happens, you'll have an emotional reaction in the now. But what we're doing is we make sure that whatever happened in your past isn't contributing to it, isn't, you're not carrying it around with you. So this is why this, you know, this distinction between dissociation and association is very important. Sure. Got it. Point really well made. Anything else you want to say on that, uh, Gabrielle, before we close up? No, I think this is it. All right. Well, with a great big hug to you from California to... To Holland? Big hug. <laughs> yes. Big hug back. All right. All right. Next time. 